tum 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 all right cmg toronto stock exchange another pick from stageanalysis.net u.s stock screener all right and this one caught my attention because look at that look at that you just know it's gonna look good this is the monthly candle chart and i'm using that to define the higher prevailing trend if it looks like a duck quacks like a duck then it's a duck and that is time frame harmony so we have a breakout on the monthly and then we have a breakout on the weekly then everything's aligned in a row you have harmony ready to go check it out so right now Let's see where the monthly defined support is, where the monthly defined resistance is. And within that, it's right close here. Some more monthly defined resistance. And so smaller pattern. Sometimes that smaller pattern closer to the breakout shares a bottom or a top in this case it shares neither or neither neither and it has a target just like that i'm gonna hit probably some resistance here remember target considerations i always look to see if there's a previous support oh you see here previous resistance turn support or support turn resistance what i call a wall so here's some support support turn resistance right here so oh you see it has difficulty going above that that area right here it gets faded back in so this target of this pattern this is not a this is lower probably target the more probable target is just reaching that previous um support turn resistance which was tested once and just wait for that pattern which is going to make a bigger one do, 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 do. It's gonna make this one, and that's the one you're gonna want. You want to play. All right. That's how it looks like for this one here. So we close by, but remember these are monthly candles. So when we go on the weekly, I have five years of data, and this is gonna look like a nice stage one. And the closest overhand, overhead resistance I have for my breakout, well, for my monthly breakout, I have 1030, 1027. You know what? Let's zoom in. Let's define it. Do, 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 here. Yeah, 1027 is pretty much my breakout level on the monthly. Move all trend lines. Let's just put it here, 10, 27, right here. So this, I need to close above this for my monthly breakout. Let's jot down to the lower time frame on the weekly and see what I got my Stan Weinstein, what I got there. Zoom, 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 you see. Those candles, you could almost guess already that it was gonna be a stage one. When you see the cloud starting to uh, narrow out, getting uh, just flip-flopping with no clear trend, then you know you're in stage one or stage three. Next step, I look at the volume and there's no abnormal uh, breakouts. I don't have no green candles like this. So right now it hasn't happened yet. Here's the bottom of my formation. Copy, 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 copy. Do, 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 And that's how it looks pretty sweet, right? There's no overhead resistance, defined monthly defined resistance. Um, Ichimoku cloud defined resistance on top here. And. It happens that the monthly defined resistance is 
the same as the weekly. Check it out. Check it out. What do we say? 1027 right here. Let's put it back. Remember this noise. On the, on the monthly, this is just a wick of a candle that came back down and closed below it. Or is it? Oh, no, not this one. This one is... Let me get back here. Go back to the monthly. This was actually candle close that closed above. So it was actually a false breakout on the monthly candle chart. Right here. But you got to be careful. Let's go back here. Reverse engineer this a little bit. Okay, let's remove this. Uh... Let's say I'm here. At this stage, the monthly defined resistance was right here. That's my breakout level. Whoa, breakout. What happens? Put my super duper measure move applied on the. But then say pat. What's wrong with that, Pat? Well, what's going to happen right here? If you're really careful, here you had a breakdown. Let's put it here. Support. Support. Breakdown. Becomes a wall. Support. Turn resistance. So right now, this level right here at 11 is some support. Is a, has now become resistance. When you do target considerations, you know right now the target goes right through this important uh, resistance right here. Doesn't mean it's not going to go there, but it might have to test a few times, might go back in the pattern, etc., go out. So this is not an A++ setup as I would play it on my monthly, my classic chart, chart trading on monthly candles. The arrow, you would have had to lower the arrow, but... I don't know the risk to reward you're almost at the target right here of the of the modified target you'd be right there so not a plus plus and hopefully we would have not pulled the trigger on that and would have considered that would have ran into the swell right here and what happened after that price action goes through it's like the bounces in sinks in through that resistance and gets bounced back out and after that price action goes back in and just decides to wasn't time and just goes back into the pattern and now we're approaching another test so remember here we have a break on the weekly true we're getting further and further away from this uh, but on the monthly ideally you want to make sure that you have a breakout above, a close above 11 to make sure you're through that. So that's actually, I'm going to keep that one there. Remove all trend lines. And just put back the 11 level. We want to make sure we have a close above that to make sure we go through the wall and up and up for the next target right there. 1080. All right, let's go back. Let's go back, back, back on the weekly. What does CMG, what does CMG stand for? Computer Modeling Group? What? Did not know anything about that company. All right, so we're back here. Let me remove the Ichimoku Cloud because... They are not, we have none to consider since there's no overhead resistance. Here we are. So this is the ultimate breakout right here. 1080, 11, 11 level. We want to break out above that, close above that before entering the stock. Now on the weekly, if we play it at a stand, we have we had this nice horizontal breakout line and a close above that with the stand way would be su sufficient to enter the trade if 
and that's what's good if we have the volume and let's zoom some more zoom 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 zoom, zoom. if we have four times so the pre the average about 250k if we have uh, twice the average of the previous four weeks so if we have at least 500k our side is already going upwards and look the building blocks sometimes uh, some stocks they really uh, some charts to really talk to you you know it's mature for cmg not quite there yet just not quite the breakout there's no breakout that's happened but it's moving up there it's moving up there if you have a close above 1032 then and we'll see if it comes with volume or not if there's no volume then you just wait slowly for the for that close above uh, 1080 and ideally 11 on the monthly candle close if you have that let's go back in the monthly if you have that then what's the implied measure move gives you a target of about 1280 and you would probably cheat it just under here because if you look target considerations right here at the top right here let's do it here got to break down this candle right here so now that is also a wall previous support turn resistance so you want to adjust your target to even if the implied measure move is 12 6 12 80 you want to bring that to 1260 just to make sure that you're on the right side of the uh, of the resistance you get tr your profit uh, stop profit limit gets triggered you're out of the trade and even if it does uh, pierce through and it hit the 12 id doesn't matter you were on the right side you, you want to augment your chance it's like when you're close to the finish line and you're winning that 10 that 10 round fight uh, are you really going to go um, and start uh, throwing haymakers like crazy and uh, swinging it out with the other dude in the final two rounds? No. You're going to make sure you, you have that lead on points. Sure, you, you win. You go to the, sc the scorecards and not with, get the victory via the judge's decision. You're not going to go slug it out and risk it. Same thing here. If you're so close to the end and you already you move that much, that means you're, you've won 11 or 10 rounds out of 12. Just... Uh, just make sure you're able to survive, keep your gas, and finish uh, the fight and win. Guys, CMG, man. That was not an easy one, but uh, I thought it'd look easy. But this very, very strong, nice base. And as long as first thing, wait for a weekly candle of that volume. And after that, we see the chart, how it's morphed. See if the uh, you are aligned with the monthly. And if you're aligned with the monthly and the weekly, it's a go. I'm going to keep an eye on this. I have a whole bunch of alerts, and I'll most likely come back to it when the volume's there, guys. All right, CMG. See ya! <laughs>